All right, to get started with oxy fuel cutting, you're gonna need a pair of gloves. Um, obviously, we wanna protect our hands. You wanna protect your body with long sleeves, pants, uh, heavy work boots. You're also gonna need a number shade five uh, cutting lens. Some helmets have a shade five built in. You just need to look at the controls on your screen and adjust it to shade five. Now that we know how to set up the tanks and turn them on to the proper pressure, we're gonna show you how to turn on the torch. Bottom oxygen is gonna get turned on all the way. You'll see an O and an F at the bottom of the torch. You'll see green hoses and red hoses, oxygen and fuel. Turn that bottom oxygen on all the way. All right, once that is open all the way, we're going to slightly crack open the fuel and light it. We want to get rid of all that black soot. We don't want the flame to come off the tip like that. We want it to just be a bit of a roar and have a feather, but no soot. Now we're going to crack open the top oxygen. All right, go ahead and put your shield down. At this point, you'll notice an outer cone and several small inner cones. We want that outer cone to be the same size as the inner cone. So I'm going to slightly adjust it to the same size. Now, if I hit my oxygen lever, which is this handle on the back, if you notice the flames jump a little bit or swell up, you need to add a little bit more oxygen until they don't jump as much. This is what we call a neutral flame. Too much oxygen we call an oxidizing flame and too much acetylene we call a carburizing flame. But when we have equal balance of oxygen and acetylene, we call it neutral. All right. Let's go ahead and get ready to cut. So in order to make a cut, we want to have a line to follow. So typically I will just try and freehand a few straight lines, approximately a half inch apart. I'll usually keep my soapstone and my striker handy in the sides of the table here. Uh, tip cleaners are also good to have lying around. All right, so we are going to get our neutral flame All right, now we're going to preheat this metal until it turns um, approximately like a blue or purple tinge, just starting to show. That preheat means that we're about 500 to 700 degrees. Once I see that it's preheated, that means we're going to get closer to the kindling temperature faster. Okay. We're going to start on the very edge, and it's going to turn a cherry red. You see that? Once it hits a cherry red, we're going to press down on the oxygen lever, and we're going to try and keep those cones anywhere from an eighth inch to a half inch off of the metal. We never want to touch the cones or the tip to the metal. I'll do a dry run to make sure I can get nice and smooth across. We'll start on that edge. Press in. And you're gonna move as fast as the cut will let you go. Put that uh, scrap piece down into the, the scrap bin. And there you have your cut. Notice that there's a little bit of dross on that back side, that chunky stuff. The dross on the back side of that usually means our oxygen pressure is too high or we had too much preheat. The colder we can keep this cut, the less dross we'll have and the cleaner the cut will be. When you set up this neutral flame, 
and you hit the oxygen lever and it's a clean tip, you will hear a little bit of a crackle aside from the hiss that's coming out. It usually means that you have a good equal of oxygen and acetylene. If your dross comes off easily, you have your torch set up properly. You can use a straight edge to help you cut this. Anything that helps you guide the tip along while keeping that tip, the cones, off the metal. All right, to turn off the torch, we're going to go oxygen first, then acetylene, and then a quick burst of oxygen, just in case there's a fire that's still lit on the tip. You don't need to turn off the bottom oxygen right now, but when you are done cutting for the day and you're going to be cleaning up your station, then I would go ahead and turn off that bottom oxygen all the way. 